Okay, here it is, uh, front of the house. That's the tree that's weighted down so much by snow that it has draped itself in front of the door. So I'm gonna dig the sidewalk out a bit and see what I can do as far as getting some of the snow off that tree. Maybe it'll get back up. Part of it's resting up against the window too, so it's kind of an important thing for me right now. Uh, scanning around the front here. Looks a little worse than the back. You can kind of get a better gauge of what's going on with this weather. Uh, one of my neighbors actually spent probably five hours clearing himself out there. And one of the other cars in the neighborhood. So, the cars aren't really a great gauge as to how much snow we got because a lot of, a lot of the snow blew off the cars in the heavy winds last night. But, there's just this kind of a scope of what the uh, what the plows did to us last night as you can tell not a whole hell of a lot I mean they they did enough but it's mainly for them to be able to get back in to the area um, some of my neighbors they're doing a clean up so at least there's safety in numbers with them I hate being by myself with this crap but Hey, that's where my life is right now, so what the hell. Alright, so I'm going to shovel the front walk, try to knock some of that snow off that tree and see if I can get it to pop back up again. Then I'm going to venture out in the neighborhood some more and do some more footage. So I will check back with you guys here in about half an hour or so. So, peace out. Alright guys, it's uh, 1.30. I've just done enough on the front walk to make it passable. So, uh, we'll venture out here a little bit. Grab the shovel. And you can kind of see how deep the snow is. Now, some of it blew off from drifting, but there's a, there's a good view of things right there. I mean, yeah, some of it I shoveled up and everything. I was able to do enough of the tree to be able to get in and out the front door. This tree, I'm going to have to bend back and push against the corner of that house there. It just got weighted down so much that I think it cracked. So, but, I can get in now. Uh, another view back down the sidewalk. Next door neighbor did his earlier. So, he'll have to come back out a little later. Still snowing. Um, several more hours of this, so I think we're going to get close to 40 inches, if possible. So, alright, I'm going to venture out to the neighborhood after I put some stuff away. So, stand by for more. Alright, it's uh, nearly 2 o'clock. Um, as you can see by the car passing down, uh, this is Olympia uh, intersection with... Bear Creek. Uh, Bear Creek leads down to the house where I'm at. Um, we're still in not quite blizzard conditions, but the snow is still falling pretty heavy. Uh, small flakes, but they're coming down fast. Some wind driven. A uh, little bit of scenery around. This is the pool area. Coming around. Uh, well, I was walking with two people up here, but they disappeared on me. So, uh, anyway, in the distance there. That's the clubhouse for the golf course. Bring back out some of the more trees. So I'm kind of standing at a nice intersection here where a lot of traffic would normally be here. But there's, there's nothing. Uh, again, the roads are passable. Uh, the main ones anyway. You can get out to, to them. You can actually get somewhere. But I'm going to call it safe this time. Let the road crews do what they got to do. Um, down there on the end, um, that last row of buildings at the T intersection, those would be the buildings across from where I am at. So that's how far down it is. I made it out this far and you can see the visibility so you know it's snowing pretty well. Um, anyway, I'm going to head back towards the house. Really no sense in walking up Olympia, especially if there's vehicular traffic. I don't want to be out at and having to jump out of the way of somebody. So, our road, 
our neighborhood plow crews actually did a pretty good job of this. I mean, considering what they had to deal with. So I figure they're going to wait until this thing's over and then go full force on it. You can see one of the uh, tractors that they're using. And there's another pretty cool looking... It's basically just a panel truck, like a like a cargo truck that you would normally see on the roads. Um, I believe it belongs to the golf course community here. So I'm going to walk up some. And you can see some of these trees. Some gorgeous pictures that I'm going to take here in a little bit. But uh, I'll come around here and show you this truck. Uh, it looks like it's a regular panel truck, but they converted it. And uh, it's got a big snow plow on it. I figure they waited, put a lot of weight inside that, in that cab. Chain tires. So I figure once that thing gets going, it'll be pushing a lot of good snow. So, uh, next quick little video I'll have will be uh, uh, from the top of Palm Alley looking down onto my garage area so you can kind of see a little more of what's going on. But uh, I think this pretty much says it all. So I'm going to take a few snapshots and then walk back down. So, stand by. Alright, just to show you guys, we're uh, basically back at a blizzard condition again. Uh, the wind's picked up heavily, pretty easily above 30 miles an hour. Uh, technical definition is uh, not necessarily heavy snows for a blizzard, but blowing snows, which means it can not be snowing at all. You can still have a blizzard because the snow is blowing at 30 miles an hour or more. Or maybe it's 35. Regardless, what's the difference between 5 miles an hour really when you're talking heavy winds? So, anyway. Uh, there's my destination, Palm Alley, and uh, I'll get ready to take a couple more pictures and some video. So, just wanted to show you how much these winds have picked up just in the 10 minutes of walking here. So. Alright, I tried to take this from uh, Palm Alley itself, but uh, you can't see over the snow drifts and the plowed snow. So I had to come up here. I am literally standing in snow that is up to my mid thighs. So I won't be here too long. I just wanted to give everybody a good scope of some of these driveways that are dug out, how deep everything has gotten. You can see mine. I think I'm eventually going to have to dig out the end of it, try to push it out to the road more before the plows come again. Or else maybe I'll wait till they come through and then push more out there. Because they're going to make several passes. So I'll wait till they do the first one. A uh, bunch of neighbors hanging out, talking. Probably taking some nice needed rest from the digging. <laughs> these kids are taking advantage of this hillside. And also some of these snow drifts. Uh, right here... If you can see it, this is uh, where I had to walk through to get to this point. I need to get back out, use my old footprints. Whoa, mid thigh. Oh, I'm glad it's not higher. I won't be able to get my butt out. Uh, anyway, Palm Alley, which looks like it wasn't really done much. It's not a main road here. So, painted back again. So, some of the neighbors that have yet to do any digging out. Look at that stuff. That's a, I think there's a Range Rover under there. So you can see down. All right, I'm going back in for a while. I gotta warm up. Actually, I'm warm in, these, in this gear, but the wind is stinging my face. Pretty brutal. So where's our satellite dish? Uh, there it is. Uh, there's a reason why I don't have TV. I wonder if I can do anything about that. I doubt it. So. Alright, I will check in from inside. Later, guys.